Welcome back. I'm here with Kelsey Ballerini and Topher Grace. <laughs> it is a fact of life. Everyone struggles, and if they say they aren't, they're a liar. And when it happens, we often do feel alone in the world, and my next guest understands this all too well. She's a Tennessee native, just like Kelsey, and this summer she posted a heartbreaking video on TikTok about a birthday party she was planning for her younger sister. Take a look. If a kid in your child's class gives out birthday invitations, just come. My little sister turns eight tomorrow. Her birthday party is going to be this weekend. Um, our mom died of brain cancer 83 days ago. One, one child from her class RSVP. I haven't even told her that. At the end of the day, they shouldn't be me. It should be our mom. My mom should be doing this. My mom's not here. Woo. Like, <laughs> every time. The video just destroys me every time. Um, the video was shared widely, and what it happened next should remind all of us that we are never truly alone. We'll get to that a little later, but first, meet Chloe, who made the TikTok, everybody. <laughs> so, this is Topher, this is Kelsey. Nice to meet you. I know, you're trying to fight it too. I see it in her eyes, it's hard. <laughs> Ooh, so we're, we're all so sorry for your loss. There's no words that can say any more than that. So I'm just very sorry for your loss in the first place. But tell us about your mama. Um, my mom was incredible. She was, a, she was a really magnetic person. She's the kind of person everybody gravitates towards. Um, she had me when she was about 21, so it was kind of always just being her. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was the kind of parent who, even though she was a single parent, which is a whole other feat in itself, she was at every PTA meeting, she was mm -hmm. volunteering, she was always there. She taught me more than anything that you don't have to be one thing in life. It's not all said and done. You pick what your career is gonna be. You can be so many things. Yeah. And um, she really gave that to me. But uh, most shockingly probably, I was 16 years old when she was diagnosed with brain cancer. And um, again, it was just me and her. So getting through that was kind of tough. She had a really serious brain surgery. She had radiation. She learned to walk again. She learned to talk again. And then just like her, she just bounced back from it. Like it never happened. And she went right back to life as normal. Like, well, that was a weird speed bump in life. And yeah. so she, she got through that. And when I was 20 years old, she met someone and she had my little sister. So I was a little, I was a little. Yeah. <laughs> it took me a while yeah. to get to the other I side was of a that. Little. <laughs> like I'm 20 years yeah. old, I'm in college and my mother was pregnant. So yeah. that was interesting. Yeah. Um, but. The moment I met her, I was there when she was born, and the moment I met her, it just, it changed my life. She yeah. changed me, and that was probably the best moment of my life, so. So when did your mom's cancer come back? Um, so it actually came back four times. So she, within 11 years, she got sick again, and she would have a major surgery, and they would do radiation, they would do chemo, they would what do- What a fighter. Both at the same time, and every time, it kind of became a pattern in life, weirdly, that you would get used to. You know, if if you think it's normal, it becomes normal. So, mm. okay, mom gets sick, mom does the thing, she gets better, and she just bounces back, and that's how it is. Um, but in November, we kind of knew that it was different. Her health wasn't bouncing back, and that's mm. when we kind of knew we were coming towards the end. So that brings us back to the video. So what was going on when you made it? Um, so our mom ended up passing in April of this year, and, um, Obviously, I had always promised her because her and Charlotte's father had split that I was going to do everything in my power to raise Charlotte as my own mm -hmm. and give her the childhood she gave me, include her in the kind of things she included me in and teach her the same values. And um, I, I held that promise. And when my mom passed, Charlotte became part of our family full time. And um, she had switched schools. So obviously it's a huge transition. Yeah to do when you're losing your mom, and she lost a lot of her original friends, and I made sure I was sending invitations to those new friends, to that new class, mm. to tell them about her birthday coming up in July, and um, yeah, one child RSVP to her party. Which, look, I'm a mama, and you throw parties, and I, even my daughter's last one, I was freaking out, because I'm like, are people responding? Like, are they gonna come? Like, you know, cause your kid gets so excited. They, they, get, they get so excited. It's such a magical day, they feel so special. And yeah. it's, I can't, pff, I can't imagine that. Like, 
Did you ever have a problem when you were a kid? Because I was a kid too. I was kind of, I know everybody thinks I was probably such an extrovert, but once again, wasn't. And I didn't have like, I had like a core couple friends, but I didn't have like huge parties growing up like that or anything. Did y'all have that growing up? Did you have that kind of? No, mine was mostly family and a couple, couple close friends. Yeah. Yeah. I was wildly unpopular, but, uh, <laughs> but I didn't have this kind of a situation. I can't imagine. Uh, so, Chloe, what happened after you posted the video? I woke up the next morning, and um, I, I got on TikTok expecting to see, you know, it's always going to be a little bit ugly, a little bit great, but it was overwhelmingly amazing. Mm. Um, every inbox on every social media platform was just full of people asking, how can we help? Or telling me, oh, I've already connected with so-and-so and found out what city you live in, and we've already found ways to help. Can you give me your personal number so we can make this happen on her birthday? Mm -hmm. And <laughs> they were just piling on asking, what can we do? Were you just in tears? <laughs> I was. I would have been uh, just weeping. Yeah, I was. Because sometimes, you know, we're shown that the world can just be crap sometimes, and people can be very not cool and unkind, and like then you, something like this happens, and it's it's magical. So what was the party? What did it end up being like? Uh, so essentially, I, I started saying yes. <laughs> I'm like, if you want to help, if you want to make that, you want to bring a kid, please bring him. I've never met yeah. you before in my life. Yeah, yeah. So um, <laughs> I was giving out my personal address, uh -huh. <laughs> doing everything I could. Uh, so the first thing that happened was um, I got in contact. This woman named Taylor actually found me and got in connection with me. And she was like, I have a little girl around Charlotte's age. Can I bring her? Can I help you decorate? Mm. And another woman, Abby, was like, I'll come and decorate at the same time, too. And a woman named Cindy set up like all these giant balloon garlands and numbers filled with balloons. And uh, this woman named Libby actually came from Oxford, Mississippi with her horse Miss Gracie, who she put glitter all over, oh. and pom-poms, and brought her, and all the kids got to take pony rides. Um, then this Jeep line showed up, and it was about 30 Jeeps, full of people just pulling through, and handing her gifts, and pulling through, and <laughs> singing her happy birthday songs. Um, there was also a woman named Alyssa, my from Caden's Critters. Goodness! Oh and she God. brought these like giant pythons, yeah. and lizards, and the kids did these like big, this like expo essentially where they learned about reptiles and got to hold them. And Charlotte's face just throughout all of it, she was floored. She was absolutely yeah. floored, obviously. Um, this is also her first birthday party ever. Um, our mom, when you have a parent who is in and out of chemo and during a pandemic, you don't necessarily have the energy or time that other parents have. So or this her you're first not, party yeah, health wise, you're not supposed to be around people. You no. get sick very easily. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh, did, did I, I've never had a party like that. <laughs> like, wait, I know my, my only question is like, what are you doing next year? <laughs> I was like, set the bar. I know, I was like, the bar, the bar. has been set. I was like, it's a bit high. It's, yeah. bit high. it's yeah. so good. Well, Taylor in our audience was one of the helpers. So Taylor, what made you reach out? So when I first saw the video, I mean, it just broke my heart. Cause like she said, I have a daughter that's the same age as Charlotte. And I think that every child should feel special and loved, especially yeah. on their birthday. So um, I reached out to see if maybe we could come. And even if we were the only ones there, we were gonna make it great. So, but then the whole community of Memphis showed up and it was just incredible the whole day. Just, I mean, twist and turns all day long. We've actually had play dates since then, and we've become really good friends and plan to maintain that friendship. And yeah. Charlotte and Audrey, my daughter, get along great. So it's just been a blessing to get to know her and her whole family. Oh, what a beautiful ending. I just love too, like you you didn't know her, but you were like, look, I, we don't have to know people. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to. You can say, God, I sympathize. I have empathy for what's going on here because I realized how devastating that is. Like when, <laughs> anyway, fine, fine. Um, it, I think it's time to meet the birthday girl because I'm gonna hug her. She's gonna feel uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> Charlotte, come on out. <laughs> Skirt. Oh my gosh, have a seat. Oh my God, Charlotte, first of all, 
It's like you and Kelsey, everybody called each other with this yeah. color palette. Um, but I Can have I to ask- the family? Yeah, like, cause your birthday looked awesome. I want a birthday like that. How, was it so much fun? What was your favorite part? Uh, my favorite part was meeting all those people and making new friends. Aw, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, you, your smile is my son's smile right now. He lost the same <laughs> tooth like a couple days ago and I'm just like, it's so cute. <laughs> Oh, well, we want um, you to be able to create even more awesome memories. Um, so we are sending you on a family vacation to enjoy a four night, five day luxury included vacation to beaches, Turks and Caicos. It's incredible. <laughs> this amazing all inclusive resort features magnificent villages, plenty of gourmet restaurants, beautiful beaches for sand castles, <laughs> um, an array of activities for kids of every age and endless fun and memories for everyone. You're gonna love it. It's the most beautiful place ever. I hope you have so much fun and make some friends there. You are so beautiful. Thank oh my you. gosh.